First, let me say, I love Godox and they make incredible products. With that being said, I don't want you to think that I'm telling you go look for another brand or to not even purchase this product at all. And hopefully, once I'm done with this video, me and Godox will be able to continue to have the great relationship that we have already. So with that being knocked out the way, let's end this sad music. And let me tell you how Godox sent me a product that I would never use and why I sold my AD200 Pro because of it. If you are familiar with my channel, you know exactly how I feel about the AD200 and how I love the AD300 Pro over it. But this isn't going to be a video where I continue to beat a dead horse, I think is the saying. Yeah. So that has nothing to do with this video. But if you are curious on to why I prefer the AD300 or anything like that over it, then I have a ton of videos that you could search up and you could find. And it's pretty informative. So go check those out. But as you know, if you watch my channel, I was on a shoot a couple months ago, back in March and the wind blew my light stand knocking my ad 300 over and leaving me out of commission because the bulb burst up broke up whatever couldn't use it but i wanted to challenge myself at that point and i decided all right i'm gonna knock the dust off this <sighs> that ain't sound right i'm going wipe. i'm <laughs> i'm gonna wipe the dust off of this ad 200 pro uh, and I'm going to go ahead on it and use that um, as my light, as my light when I go on location. Right. I wanted to challenge myself. And in fact, I made a video doing it. This would be a perfect time for me to go ahead on and bring out this bad boy right here. The AD 200 Pro. I'm going to use this as my main light. And long story short it was i couldn't do what i wanted to do with it so i broke out my ad 400 pro um and when i did that some of you guys commented in in the uh comment section rightfully so calling me out on it saying that that looks a little bit too big to be an ad 200 and you were correct it, it was i couldn't do what i needed to do but the, th this is the other thing with it right godox sent me this product last year and <sighs> I lost two of my hard drives that had all of my YouTube stuff on it because of a lightning strike. It was weird, like two. Um, and I haven't got anything back. So I kind of took a break from YouTube and I sat on this product for the longest. I never used it on anything. Now, it's called the, the R200. And the thing about this product is it is an accessory, right, for the AD200. That's like one of its biggest selling points is it's supposed to be so versatile, right? You could take, you could get the attachment where you could put two AD 200s and add, although people will say it will make it an AD 400, it won't. I'm just gonna tell you now, it's not an AD 400. Please stop saying that, it's not, okay? We could talk about that, so just hit the comment section and I'll rent my little butt off, right? Either way it go. I was excited about this product and the reason why I was is because I do not like shadows if you know me if you know my work i do not like shadows i hate shadows it, that's just me um i like other people that take photos and shadows in it i just don't do it okay one second i gotta take a cough break <coughs> mm. back to it though so as soon as i got it godox sent it to me it was nice they gave me the vip package like straight up it was so many different uh, things with it it was a uh, it was grids with it it was this big reflector piece it was a couple gels it was pretty nice uh, thank you godox i mean oh you the goat but i gotta keep it real with the people that that watch my channel i gotta be honest i just gotta tell it how it is so as soon as i broke it out i took some photos i actually took some photos of that camera back there and, you know, I'm like, yes, this is going to be great. It's 360. There's no reason any shadows. Everything should be beautiful. Just perfect. Perfection. Boy, was I wrong. Not only was it a shadow, it was like a halo effect of a shadow. I'm like, yo, what am I supposed to do with this? So, you know me, I got to review the product. I'm taking it out. I'm, I'm trying to do so. I did so many different things just trying i even look i hit godox up and i said godox 
I, I don't have nothing positive to say about this product. I don't know what to do. That's the reason why I kept this product for so long. But my fear was I didn't want to burn the bridge. But at the same time, they gave me a product. I had to do a review and I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. But but listen, this may be for you that you may want. You may like this. OK, you may like it. But either way, I go. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to take this to the studio now. I do a lot of beauty stuff. And in my mind, I'm like, all right, I back them a little bit away from the background. Anyway, I could go ahead on take this photo. And when I take this photo, I should be fine. I shouldn't have to worry about any type of shadows or anything like that. Just nice, even light, beautiful photos. Wrong again. I tried with when, when I was doing this, I thought it was going to be so good. So I tried with the grids. I tried with all of these different things that I was just having her, um, you know, take photos and like put up a little sign. So I just know exactly what I did. But it didn't even matter. It doesn't matter what attachment I put on this ring light. It did not matter that halo shadow was present. That is a problem. Now, look at this photo right here. This is what I use usually when I do beauty shots or portraits like this up close. It's just one big behind umbrella that I shoot and it, it reflects and it comes out the diffuse inside to give this beautiful soft light all over the face. No shadows. One light, one modifier. That's it. That's it. So I'm like, all right, what can I do next? How can I put this to the test next? I know. Let's go outside, right? Now, if I go outside, maybe I could use this to be some type of fill light so I could expose for the ambient like I always do. And maybe I could use this for some fill light. All right. So let me tell you what I just finished doing. I am still testing out this Godox product right here. This is the R200 right here. And, um, you know, I'm just trying to put it through as many things as possible. When you see the review, it's going to be like, man. You didn't have that for a while because I got different haircuts, my beard right now shaved, I got a style on my eye, so many different things. So, you know, we're going to go ahead on, get every single thing. When I bring you these reviews, just know it's, it's me really using it. You know, some people, they get the product, they have the things they say, they don't really go out and test it. Like, I'm really out here testing it right now. So, I got the shots that I need. I'm going to wait till I get home, edit them a little bit, see how it go, throw them in my review video. Now I want you to check these photos out right here. Now, did it cause a shadow? No, there's nothing to put a shadow on. But this look right here is a very specific type of look. It's not something that I would go for. And this is the thing. Let's say you are a beauty photographer, like I do a lot, right? And you shoot in the studio. Well, when I do my beauty shots, I usually use one lens. So let's say you're a macro photographer. You're going out shooting bugs and stuff like that, flowers, and you know, you just all close up and stuff like that. You might use a macro lens. You might use one lens, might, just might do that. But if I'm outside and I'm shooting fashion, I'm shooting lifestyle, I'm shooting portraiture, portrait, however you say that word. If I'm shooting that, I'm probably switching my lenses out several times. And for me to have to fumble with putting a new lens on this, you know, like adjusting and all this, it's not worth it. Now, I know what y'all are going to say. If I'm in the studio, you're going you're gonna to tell me the way to fix it. Oh, well, if you just put some other lights, you could take care of the shadow. Well, sure. But the way I see it is like this. If I get some type of accessory attachment or anything like that, less is better like the little like the the less work that i have to do the better that's how i see it now i'm not sure how you see it but i don't want to do extra work i don't want to have to put every single thing together when i could just use one umbrella and bounce it off the umbrella come back one light one modifier amazing result what is the point of me bringing this out all of the time now this was the last straw with the ad 200 for me because i just could not find a reason at all to use this light it is such a gimmick light to me it's such a gimmick light and i think really soon and it's not this this is the thing i'm sorry I, I, i'm i'm this is the thing 
It's not that it's 200 watts. As I keep saying, it is its overheating ability. It is its slow recycle time. It is all of that. Now, Westcott, Westcott has the FJ200. And if you see the design of that light, it is beautiful. It's what the AD200 should be. So what I'm hoping, Godox, is, and, and they probably not because they keep making these little attachments for the AD200. But what I was hoping, Godox, is you will make an AD200 that takes on the same shape of every single thing else you're doing. The nice circular shape and, and be just like that FJ200. It ain't it like you was like, oh, it was cool at first. It fits in your pocket. Oh, wow. We're in 2023. That, I don't care about that anymore. Do something better about do something better about the slow recycle time and all of that stuff like that. Just do better. But I went ahead on and I sold my AD200. I actually bought another. I bought the replacement bulb for my AD300 and bought a second one. I'm in love. I'm in heaven. And after I sold my AD200, I bought some candy. Now, I know what you're going to say. It's unhealthy. And that's fine. But it makes me happy. Until the next time, my name is Ryan Troy, and I don't got no AD200 no more. Peace.